tackle. It's got to be Pat Tillman. You've got to get to that safety. The contrast in styles. And we get going here. Let us madden. Let us get right into it here from Pizza Hut Stadium. Raiders offense, Ravens defense for Volt. Yeah, that 3-3-5 formation is what we're going to see Voltrax in versus this gun you trips offense that uh, Decroft runs. Patriots offense, Redskins defense going the other way. Not a combination we see a whole lot of. That Patriots offense, like I said, we're going to see that gun you trips, a really unique formation. He's going to be sh hitting a lot of short routes. He doesn't look down the field very often, but Voltrax has these really high overall players on defense. It's going to be tough to hit underneath all the game without fumbling. And Mo, you were on the call in the club championship game for the Seahawks, a walk-off. Decroft said he heard you say on the cast he needed to be more aggressive. Does he come out aggressive here? You know, I, I hope so. You know, that I think when you're aggressive, you, you play a little bit better. But with, for Decroft, he knows this offense a lot better than I do. I just fell in that game, that situation. He was playing a little timid where he could have put Young Kiv away early. He kind of let him hang around, and Young Kiv had a chance to win the game in overtime. But Decroft clutched up, made a great read, and won the game. Uh, Kiv had tied it with a fourth and goal, three-yard touchdown to Torrey Holt at the fourth quarter gun. Decroft wanted in OT on a long bomb to Brandon Cooks. Same sky winning it for the Seahawks. And right away, a completion here. And that's going to be Decroft's read on almost every single play. He always has that little baby out route, and he's not going to miss it if, if, if Voltrax continues to put that flat out there. Got it to Tyreek Hill, another popular player across the board. Just underway, and we'll keep an eye on the other in-division game for you, as well as Aaron Rodgers is on the move. And gets belted right near the first down sticks. Rodgers wearing 12 for the 12s. You know, I, I wonder if I wonder if Voltrex is going to be put in a spy versus this, this offense because he doesn't have that escape artist that we're used to seeing from these gun pass heavy offenses. But Aaron Rodgers has a little bit of speed himself, and if Decroft's able to realize that he has no spy, he's going to have some opportunities to take off. Aaron Rodgers played his college ball just up the road from this studio up in Berkeley. Rams and Packers quarterbacks both former Golden Bears, Rodgers and Goff. We're going to see a lot of pressure coming here. Right away, but it's Tyree Kill oh. dancing for the first down. And it looked like he tried to pitch the ball right there. I'm not really sure what happened. It looked like Tyree Kill was trying to find somebody to pitch it to. Very wow, scary right. play for Decroft. Yeah, that very, very all the way out. That would have been something. It is a first down, 38-yard line. Decroft from Muckleteo, Washington. It's gotten a great view of Whidbey Island if you've ever been up there. Rodgers looking underneath. He's got Torrey Holt. Great read there by Decroft. I love that route combination. You know, a lot of short routes, but this, the field is still spaced very well. Decroft, a little bit of a mad scientist, I think, too, Mo. On average, he calls 10, even 12 unique plays a game. Yeah, something we don't see a lot of in competitive Madden. A lot of times we see players go to their base plays and they kind of make adjustments out of it. Always challenging himself, says D. Croft. Look out! Aaron Rodgers goes down hard. Lawrence Taylor doing jumping jacks after the sack. And Voltrax was telling me, he said, I'm probably going to run a little bit more 3-4 odd than I'm, I'm used to running just because that offense is so good. I'm not going to be able to get my block sheds that I normally get in that 3-3-5 defense. But look, he goes right back to it. This is his bend, don't break defense. That 3-4 that odd, he's kind of taking a gamble because he's sending seven guys. And this defense, we're very rarely going to see him send more than three guys. He's got Donald Driver in the slot now motioning here on a second and 17. Looking to get rid of it underneath. There's Donald Driver. Longtime Packer out of Alcorn State, one time seventh round pick, had a heck of an NFL career. And a timeout taken right away. And I think Voltrax is over that 3 3 5 defense. He's just not getting any pressure. Lawrence Taylor's not able to shed. So I think he's going to go to this 3 4 odd defense and just send seven. Decroft's got to buy some time to get his receivers open. Decroft listening to soothing music in those headphones, he tells us, by the way. Not hardcore rock or hip-hop when he plays. He's got him. Flinging it to Tyreek Hill. Strike up the band. Touchdown, Decroft. Great read there by Decroft. I didn't think he'd have time to throw that, especially because it looked like he was looking for the wheel. Great way to stay in the pocket and make that pass. Hey, he says he likes the soothing vibes to settle his nerves, so it's... It's Ed Sheeran in those ears right now, not Meek Mill or something like that. Decroft, ladies and gentlemen, is in love with the shape of Mo. <laughs> and you know, he, 
Voltrex has all 95s on defense, so giving up a touchdown on your first drive makes it really difficult to play offense. Gets rid of it here from about 50 yards out. Tyree Kill got it at the 12 and waltzed down in. Just a great route combination right there. Bought some time. Knew he was sending seven guys. Beat the man blitz. Very, very good play by Decroft. Decroft, a really interesting player. Born in China. Moved to that Seattle area at age three. Has been there ever since. And says his earliest Seahawks memory, Mo, was the Beast Quake in January of 2011. And the guy named Beast Mode is playing as the Rams champion. They might see each other later on. Decroft off to a good start. There's a very good chance he could be advancing to this next round, especially when you get seven on your first drive versus that defense that Voltrax has. Like I said, he only has Chris Johnson on offense. That's the only playmaker he has. We're going to see him get handed off the ball every single play this drive. Now keep in mind, kind of the dirty little secret about Decroft, 26th of the 32 competitors in this tournament in terms of run defense stats. And Voltrax, like you say, Mo, he's not subtle or coy in any way. He's going to try to run the ball right down your esophagus, but Chris Johnson's tripped up. Yeah, Decroft has a great run defense. He just sits in those gaps, and he's able to make a user play against those runs. Voltrax, not good, not good way to start this game. You know, Decroft shoots right in for the very first play. You know exactly what defense he's going to be running. Look for that to be a theme in this game. We saw Nick Hacko run with Chris Johnson right away twice for two long touchdowns, two 70-yard touchdowns on his first two carries just a little while ago. This Chris Johnson salvo didn't go quite as well. Drew Brees, the quarterback for Voltrax. Handing off, Chris Johnson turns it inside and gets turned back. So I gotta ask you, Mo, about the whole Chris Johnson thing, because a week and a half ago it was all Clinton Portis, right? Everywhere. Why is everybody all of a sudden in on CJ? You know, he's just a little bit more cap, he's a lot faster, and he breaks the tackles just the same way, so that's why we see them use that Chris Johnson. 96 speed. And you look inside the numbers, right? I mean, what's the Jay-Z line? Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. And there are many good reasons to load up, I guess, with Chris Johnson. About half the field has done that, seeing a little bit of Eric Dickerson here and there. Some Barry Sanders. A lot of CJ and a lot of room for him here. Zipping to the outside, first down. And I think Voltrax is going to be feeling very comfortable in office now. It looked like he might have just found a run play to beat that defense. Decroft's going to have to make an adjustment. Look for Voltrax to go back to that run play over and over in this game. With the guy who, like the Madden 20 campus, is out of that Orlando, Florida area. If you go see where the Madden 20 gets made, Olympia High School is about 15 miles from there, and that's where Chris Johnson's from. It's a long way from where these players are from. As we tick to the end of the first quarter, and these two young studs, these two young players go on at it. Seven nothing Seattle right now for Decroft. And from right around midfield, at it again, goes Voltrax. Mentioned he's from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Nowhere real close to Boston though, actually. Uh oh. Johnson trying to swerve inside, and he did get it a little bit. And, you know, talking to a lot of people that have played Voltrax online, this is what they say. that he, They say that he, he goes through this entire Oakland playbook and he waits to find a run that you just can't stop. And it looks like he might have found something with that halfback blast. And, you know, I wonder what Decroft's adjustment is going to be because it does look like Voltrax is having a little bit of space when he calls that play. He's invested in a killer O-line, too. Joe Staley, Bruce Matthews, Alex Mack, John Runyon. Those guys were a wall. Yeah, when we see that West Coast playbook, we're used to seeing those 12 and 13 caps. Not very good run blockers. We're going to see the great run blockers out here for Voltrax. He ran with Bo Jackson in the club championship game against T. Davis. Ran very well. Second and three from the 41. Johnson wrapped up by Baker. And if you're Voltrax, you've gotten blown up every single time you ran the stretchers. No reason to go back to it there. Probably should have just stuck with the blast. And now you got yourself in a tr tough situation where you need seven yards and you can't pass the ball. Decroft's got tackle supreme on Jerome Baker, the 22-year-old out of the Ohio State University. Another popular card. A popular pick, seeing a lot of Baker, a lot of Keith Bullock at linebacker. Probably going to see that blast again. Third down seven. You see Baker stemming around for Seattle. Johnson. 
nudging his way forward, but that first down make was past the 40. He didn't get there. So now what are you looking at fourth and five, Mo? I think Voltrax is going to have to punt here. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have a quarterback. This is a really tough situation for somebody that has no quarterback. And the receiving core is not exactly Jerry Rice, Marvin Harris, and Randy Moss. It's like the Bizarro receivers group. It's like, what's the most random collection of guys I could get all at a 10 cap? And Decroft coming out in a regular defense. And taking a timeout here. We just saw a couple of fake punts run in a game played right before this, that the game that Civil was in. What a great game that was, huh? 35-32 finish. It looks like Voltrex might go for this. They had the, had the punt team out initially, then the timeout to think it over, I guess. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go back to that blast. That's the only run play he's got going at all. Got a fullback in front of him here, needing five yards. And down 7-0 here, 323 to go before the half. Johnson got it! He needed five, he got five. And you know, another thing is this clock's ticking where, where that was a really big play because if Voltrax gets stopped, Decroft's probably going to be able to take a two possession lead and go into halftime. Instead, Voltrax controls the rest of this clock for this half and he's going to get the ball back to start the second half. Very, very important set of downs coming up right here. And again, it's jarring if you're not way in the Madden to see Drew Brees as your quarterback and you realize this is not the Drew Brees that puts it in the air. The actual Drew Brees was, what, 29 for 30 on Monday night with four touchdowns. This Drew Brees keeps handing it off. Johnson, the spin move. Now will advance to the 38. And if you're Voltrex, you've got to stop going to that stretch. You've got something there with the blast. You've got to continuously go back to it until Decroft shows that he can hit you in the backfield. You're making defense way too easy for him right now. Chris Johnson, who actually ended his career as an Arizona Cardinal. Who needs CJ when you've got Kenyon Drake? <laughs> he says jokingly. Drake just had the four touchdown game against the Browns. Second and ten at the fringe of field goal range. It's going to be a blast. Been a lot of that so far. There's Johnson. And again, it's just kind of playing bumper cars here. It's nine carries, 39 yards. So what's that, about four and a half per carry? So he's just trying to kind of pound away, soften him up so he can finally blast one through. And, you know, he's running that halfback blast to the weak side, or to the strong side, excuse me. But, you know, he goes away from it, and then he puts himself in a third and six situation where he hasn't been getting six yards. He has been getting those four or five yards. So it makes it a little bit more difficult for him. Revving the engine here. Johnson's got it. Johnson to the house. And this is exactly what I've heard from the people that play Voltrax online. He will cycle through this playbook until he finds a run, and he's going to go to it over and over and over again. He's got to stop going to that stretch, though. There's no reason to run any other play except for that blast right now. Up the gap and into the end zone. This game's tied at seven. And D. Croft will get it back here. Getting crushed. And we'll start from around the 25. And kind of a similar situation that we've seen with Master Gamer. Voltrax cycling through that playbook, finds a run play, and he's off to the race with Chris Johnson. We've seen a similar thing happen with Master Gamer when he was playing Z-Thumbs. Z-Thumbs found a run play for that same exact defense and wasn't able to stop him and just was kind of stubborn and stayed in the same run defense. I'm interested to see if Decroft does the same. Flipped out and a fingertip attempted a catch there for Tyree Kill. They'll give it to him at second and four. I don't like this defense at all versus this versus this offense. I love when, when Voltrax was in that 3-4 out. It was making it life really difficult on Decroft. This looks way too easy for him right now. Taking the shot there, getting it to Johnson out of the backfield. And he's even catching passes now. Again, it's all CJ all day today. Both of these players, Decroft and Voltrax, using Chris Johnson. And in a game that features Aaron Rodgers against Drew Brees, we're not really seeing a lot of air it out. Maybe here. Uh -oh. No, it collapses on Rodgers and down he goes. And you know, that's actually very lucky that Decroft didn't fumble that ball. That was actually Pat Tillman that got his hands on the quarterback. We've seen Pat Tillman make everybody in the game fumble. If you're Volt, you need Pat Tillman to make Aaron Rodgers lose that ball right there. Now especially in a game involving the Arizona Cardinals. You figure we're going to talk about Pat Tillman. We have in a 7-7 game. I expect this to be zone coverage here. 
You see Palomalu creeping up from safety. Rogers back, gets a block, but then the pocket goes totally away on him again. And I don't love that timeout by Voltrex because you do have such a run-heavy game. You kind of if you kind of let Decroft free roll right here. If it gets stopped, you're probably not going to score anyways. But if he's able to convert right here, you just hand wrapped, gift wrapped at him three points. I don't love the timeout at all by Voltrex. Third and sixteen. Who are you looking for? Tyree Kill out wide left. Do you have anything there? I would look for I would look for a Tory Hole in that dig route that he just put. There's Rogers nothing. will run instead. And he gets uh, enough yards here, or, or do you even think about going for it fourth and eight? You gotta punt the ball here if you're Decroft. There's absolutely no reason to go for it. You know that it's gonna be really difficult for Voltrax to score before halftime with the offense that he has. So you gotta just punt, believe in your defense in the second half. Yeah, Voltrax, in, in terms of the wide receivers, it's Vance McDonald, Andre Holmes, and James O'Shaughnessy. Yeah, that, those aren't wide receivers, <laughs> and they, ain't, they aren't going to have any chance to touch this ball in this game. I've talked to Voltrax. He said, no one else will touch my ball except for Chris Johnson. Not even Lee Smith, the tight end? <laughs> There's going to be no play action in this game, and Voltrax doesn't want to take any chances on defense. He knows that that's a win for him right now. Probably not going to have a very good punt return anyways, so why not just come out in regular defense? Ed Reed will tiptoe out of bounds here, so... Yeah, you're, I think you're exactly right, Mo. With without a timeout, 52 seconds and no one to pass it to. We're gonna see a couple of runs here. See if Voltrex can find something. Using Johnson, trying to turn the corner. There's a little something, and Johnson skipping out of bounds. It looks like you know Bullock's just not fast enough to catch up to that Chris Johnson. That might have something to do with that being having that extra two speed on him. Great call there by, by Voltrax, giving yourself a chance to extend this drive into before half. The fourth EA major for Voltrax, a 22-year-old from Williamstown, Massachusetts, the home of Williams College. It's a really good Division III school. 7-7 late stages of this second quarter. Arizona and Seattle will get you caught up at halftime of our game on the other NFC West game going on. Johnson smoked this time in the backfield. And it looked like if Voltrax was able to find somebody to block him, he had a lot of space out there, but Decroft with really good stick work shooting the gap. Ready? Voltrax, the Patriots runner-up in a Madden 17, has shifted gears to go to Arizona and trying to get it downfield. We're down to 18 seconds left and rolling. And you know, that's going to be the half. We Voltrax, we might see him be able to run one more play here, but... If it's not a touchdown, we're going to see 7-7 to seven at the halftime. The heavy dose of Chris Johnson, and they will not hand it off again. We're going to toddle in a halftime here, partner, not it up seven apiece. Um, I think we're going to see one more play out of Voltrax before halftime. Oh, he did it's, stop it with two, you're right. Yeah, we're probably going to see a blast here, though. You know, actually, if, if D-Cross stays in this defense, we, nope, nope, we're going to see the blast. See if he can get some space out to the left. Flips the play. Oh, yeah, <laughs> ready for the blast to get us to the break. And, you know, I don't love to see Voltrax run the blast there because it kind of, Decroft, it looked like Decroft just found something for the blast that he had been previously running, and it was like, he, it was a free situation for Decroft to try a new defense, and he just found the defense for, for the run play that was working for Voltrax. Knotted up here, got a close one in the other NFC West semifinal as well. Nick and T. Davis are standing by to catch you up. Yeah, Josh, this game has been fantastic. Between Beast Mode Mac and Trey Kings, we've seen some interesting changes. Beast Mode Mac, we know, got here with the he with the uh, nasty streak, running some gum bunch and finding John Ross over the top. Yeah, back and forth game and big pick right there, beast mode. And this was like the filthiest pick six, 100 yards with Deion Sanders. Watch the stick work that Trey Kings utilizes here. A little look, shimmy look give at, and go there. So much patience, patience right here. So much patience going up 7 nothing. What a phenomenal pick six. I put Trey Kings up 7 nothing over beast mode, Mac. Mac looking to respond, though. One more time looking for Ross. This time he's able to drop it in the yeah, bucket. Threading the needle right there up top with the little bomb over the top. Then this Lamar Jackson out of this Panther heavy that Trey Kings is running, using that fast, fast break ability, 14-7. And then we just recently, in the last couple of seconds, 
We got a tie ball game now. It is 14 all. It was Devin Hester getting yeah. the final touchdown for Beast Mode Mac. Second half, what are you looking for from Trey Kings running that heavy Panther? Yeah, both these guys are playing pretty solid defense. You know, their touchdowns have been a little eh. So I'm looking for someone to take the advantage on offense, you know. I don't know. It's been a back-and-forth battle. Someone's got to take the advantage, throw the ball down the field. It's going to be a fun second half. Don't forget, guys, you can watch this game in its entirety on demand on the Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel. You're going to want to check it out. we got second half action between Decropt and Voltrax. Let's throw it back to Josh and Moe. All right, Nick. Awesome job. Appreciate it very much. And indeed, we hope everybody's checking it out on the YouTube channel. Subscribe to Madden Competitive Gaming and watch all of these games. Of course, there were 16 of them yesterday. As we got through the AFC, we're getting through the NFC here today. And again, Mo, it's maybe not completely surprising, but it is jarring to see so much running going on in the NFC. Yeah, you know, and Voltrax is going to be the king of the run. You know, he has no quarterback, no wide receivers. And, you know, we've seen that throughout the day. A lot of people running the ball a ton with that Chris Johnson, but Voltrax taking it to another level. Every single play, Chris Johnson is going to get the ball. Voltrax rolling by K. Mike, 28-7 in this round of 32 last year at this time. And now underway with Arizona in possession. And Voltrax will rev it up from the 24. So, yeah, you, you lose in the round of 32 last year. You try to rinse and spit that bitter taste right out of your Massachusetts mouth here if you're Voltrax. You got a shot if you can keep running the ball. And we're going to actually see Voltrax come out in goal line normal to start this half. I know Decroft has to just be uncomfortable playing against this. You know, there's no way he's ever seen this before. Johnson turning the corner, and Johnson uh -oh. slipping a tackle and getting some extra yards near midfield. Move those chains. It's 105 yards on the ground for Voltrax today. You know, there's nothing more annoying when someone's running the ball down your throat and you're not able to stop it. And, you know, or Decroft has one of the best run defenses in the game, so if he's not going to be able to stop it, look out, NFC, because Voltrax is going to be doing this steadily every single game. All this running makes for a quick game, too, right? The clock just keeps rolling. We're going to see very few possessions in this game. Even if Voltrax gets held to three or gets stopped, there's going to be very, very few possessions in Voltrax's games. They'll take that play clock down almost near zero a lot, too. Shortening the game. And he's bringing sand to the beach. Running more. After establishing the run just fine, he wants to keep doing it. And after you got that big gain out that goal line formation, I would, I'm surprised we didn't see him go right back to it. It looked like Decroft was very, very uncomfortable versus that formation. Daniel Croft, Decroft's given name. His dad's an expatriated Englishman, which is where he got his love of English football. And he is quite the soccer player, if you don't know, before he got hurt, was a heavily recruited goalkeeper up in Seattle. Johnson, stuffed to bring up third and long. This is a really tough situation for Voltrax. You've got to pick up eight or nine yards here to feel comfortable going for it on fourth down. A lot of experience for Decroft. 406 ladder games played. He's won 303 of them. We talked about how great Voltrax is online. But we say 233 and four. But here are the bright lights at the studio. Oh, wow. And Chris Johnson almost able to squeak all the way through, but he got enough to make it fourth and two. Looked like he was going to break for a touchdown right there, but that secure tackler, able to get the conservative tackle, kind of dives out from behind. If he didn't touch him, he probably would have been out of there with Chris Johnson. No one would have been able to catch him. Brings up a huge fourth and two here, Mo, because here we are about halfway through the third quarter, still tied. And we're definitely going to see Voltrax go for it. Looking at, he put his ball carry on aggressive, so he's going to fall forward more often, but that gives him a greater chance at fumbling. Did he put that linebacker in front of him again? I think yeah. so. It looks like he has Shazier out there. A lot of players have been doing that here. Shazier leading the way. Johnson uh -oh. all the way near the 30 to move the chains. And Decroft wasn't able to get set up on defense. He wasn't in that. He wasn't in the box like we normally see him doing with that linebacker. And Voltrax quick snapped it, got up the field with Chris Johnson. Easy first down. And again, possessions at a premium in this one. Voltrax playing a kind of a modified version of keep away. And Voltrax is going to have no problem taking three, especially in a game like this versus Decroft, where he's got a great defense. He's going to make Decroft have to win this game himself. He's not going to make any mistakes here. Decroft coming out of the winner's bracket in the Seahawks Club Championship. His first four games, he outscored his opponents 87 to three. 
This one's tied at seven, and it's Voltrax on the march, again running with Chris Johnson. 20 carries already for Chris Johnson for Voltrax. Yeah, and I love this goal line look that he's given versus Decroft. Decroft has no idea how to stop it. And, you know, this is, this is what we know Voltrax to be. He always has a different wrinkle than everybody else. He has to find his own way to play, and this is how he's found it, you know. And a lot of people we've seen to run out with this 10-cap quarterback and not be very successful on offense. Voltrax is moving the ball at his own pace on offense. It's not been very tough on him. He looks very, very comfortable with this 10-cap quarterback. I think we've had five pass completions to two players combined in this game. On to second and eight, Johnson. Touchdown. You bet! Chris Johnson takes it across. Voltrax on top. You saw it open up on that right side. Yeah, Chris Johnson's not the guy you want to be chasing. Easy touchdown. Once he gets past that first line of defense, the safeties are out of position. No one there to catch him. All right, so now the Decroft is in comeback mode. And again, he throws it at least a little bit. Do you expect to see some of that more? Is he going to keep working that Chris Johnson angle too? No, right, we're going to see Decroft air it out right here. The question is, will Voltrax be able to stop it? No stopping here, 27 yards to glory for it, Chris Johnson. And it looked like if Decroft didn't click off right there with this user, he probably would have been able to tackle him before the pylon, but he accidentally clicks off, sets it up an easy touchdown for Voltrax. Troy Palomalu kind of flailing at him, so here's Rodgers. Wow. And he'll escape at least to get to the 37. And what Voltrax did right there, the reason I said, uh-oh, it looked like Decroft was going to take a hit with his quarterback because Voltrax actually sent the closest guy to the quarterback with that right stick, and it looked like he may have taken a hit with his quarterback, likely would have led to a fumble. Roger steps, it's back. Oh! Oh, it's actually picked by Mack. Khalil Mack on a deflected ball. And what a turn that is. Extremely, extremely lucky play there for Voltrax. The D tackle goes and picks off the ball. You don't see a whole lot of that at all. Very, very lucky off the tip off the offensive lineman's helmet. And we're going to see Voltrax take all of this clock. How about Khalil Mack being the one that ends up with it? He's a huge Madden guy. You might know the story. He wore 46 in college because that was the rating that EA Sports gave him on the college football video game when he was at the University of Buffalo. Use that as a slight war right on his chest, but he's a huge Madden guy to this day. As is my partner, Mo, two-time belt winner, who's going to watch as we go into the fourth quarter, get those fours up, get yourself ready for the final five minutes here. It is a 14-7 lead. Voltrax trying to pull away now. And by the way, as we look forward to here, a one-hour special on ESPN2, Friday, December the 27th. You'll see the highlights from all four days of this tournament. ESPN2 has got it. So put that in your day planner if you carry one. You can probably just put it in your phone, I would think. I'm still a day planner guy. That's on December 27th. When we get back now into the fourth quarter, just more run, run, run here, right? Yeah, this is a really tough situation for, for uh, Decroft because Voltrax is going to take all the clock here. Even if he's not able to get a first down, he's going to take a couple minutes off the clock. And Decroft is a very methodical player, not a big, big shot player on offense. He likes to work his way down the field, and it's going to be very, very tough for him to come back in this game. Oh, a little shimmy there from Johnson. And again, you, you get a couple first downs here, right? I mean, and even just take three points, you're going to win this thing. Yeah, if Voltrax goes three and out right here, he's going to be perfectly fine with that going up by 10 points. And then even if Decroft's able to strike quickly, he'll only need one first down to seal the game. And he has that 95 overall defense out there. Going to be very, very tough for Decroft. And you're never stretching to the point where it's out of bounds, right? I mean, you're going to run dive plays, and if you do stretch, you got to stay in bounds. All his run plays are going to go right up the middle right here. And if he has the opportunity to bounce it outside with Chris Johnson and maybe get a touchdown, we'll see him take that. If you bounce it and get to the five, do you just sit down? I think so. I, I would prefer to see that just because he has that very high overall defense. Don't want to give Decroft too much time to work with. Volterac swinging the axe here with Johnson, who will take it inside the pylon and score. And, you know, I don't love the touchdown there just because it would have been really difficult for Decroft to win this game if you go down. But it's very, very tough to come back two possessions when you're playing a player like Voltrax, who has all those high OVR players out there. You're going to be looking for routes down the field, and they're just not going to have time to develop. I'm with you. If you sit on your butt at the two-yard line, you're going to take another, what, 90 seconds off the clock before you score again, right? Yeah, minimum. You're going to take that 90 seconds off. You know, it's really going to end up being two minutes off because you're going to count for those 40 seconds you got as well. 
Let's get you back to a Snickers intercepted replay here on that deflected ball. Khalil Mack gobbled it up. Yeah, just an extremely fortunate play there for Voltrex. I'm not sure if the pass would have been completed anyways. He's low ball into a, a running back, so you never really know what's going to happen. But very, very lucky for, for Voltrex. Time to let it fly, but he can't get it away. And the sack from Jalen Smith is a big one here. And you know, that's a read that Decroft doesn't normally miss. He had that curl wide open on the left, but he's just looking for something downfield. You got to still take your check downs in this situation. Seahawks fans rooting for Aaron Rodgers. Yes, only in Madden. Chazier coming at him. And from behind, Rodgers goes down. That defense is dialed up hot right now for Voltrax. Yeah, and he's he's tackling him out of inbounds, so he's not, the clock's continuously running, and Decroft's not picking up any yards. This is a perfect situation for Voltrax right now. Three timeouts and the two-minute warning. Rodgers in trouble again, and it's a sack attack here. Lawrence Taylor got him. This is going to be a very tough to pick it up versus Decroft or versus Voltrax defense. Excuse me. He has very high OVR players. Look for him to just send pressure right here and let those deep blues kind of just do their own thing and have no time to complete a pass right here. Look for Lawrence Taylor off this left edge. Ball track stacking sacks like Jenga blocks right now. And it's already been a three sack game for LT. Do we hear four? Uh oh, he's got him. Rogers! Oh. No picked instead by Troy P. Palomalo the other way. And this will seal it either way. He goes down at the 15. And you know, we see a lot of people use that budget. Troy Palamalu, not for Voltrax. He actually has plus two speed on him with the best version. And look at him. He's going to take some knees right here and just kick a field goal, go up by three possessions. Not going to risk a turnover. Very, very smart by Voltrax to do this. And again, so funny just to see Drew Brees, who's all about airing it out to the tune of 29 for 30 the other night. Just keep handing it off and taking a series of knees. That's all you got to do. I think I told you yesterday when Turbo Jeff was playing, this isn't your typical Drew Brees. This is Drew Brees in San Diego right when he tore his, his shoulder out. <laughs> Wait, and I was there to see it, buddy, so don't, <laughs> don't uh, twist the knife too bad. <laughs> that was John Lynch that uh, was there to, to land on him. And a play in the end zone, Broncos and Chargers. A field goal here gets us to the two-minute warning, 24-7. to seven. And this one's all but over. And the story of the game was really that, that interception where it hit off his offensive lineman's head, and Khalil Mack goes and picks off the ball. A very fortunate play for Voltrax, but, you know, he pays those players a lot of money with their salary cap. They need to play, make plays like that for him. Well, and you called him, though. I mean, it's all about the run game and defense, right, for Voltrax. And he had a heavy dose of both those items here, and he's going to win. Yeah, he converted a bunch of, a couple force downs that kind of kept his drives going, where if he didn't convert them, the game might have got out of hand for him. And that's really the difference in the game sometimes. Tyree Kill, who's been a phantom in this game. And Voltrax will give him that all day. You know, this game's essentially over. It's going to be really tough. He's going to need two onside kicks. And I don't even know how he's going to be able to score when he's going to have to press a little bit on offense. And Voltrax just isn't giving up anything easy. He's got to go up top at some point, right? Firing this one out of bounds. I mean, if you start getting pass plays in chunks of fives and sixes, that, you're going to run out of time. The problem is he's just never going to have time to get those guys to get up the field just because Voltrax does have those really good edge blitzers. And he has those guys in coverage with 90 zone everywhere. 95 plus speed almost on every position as well. Just, just in a ridiculous set of defense right now. Underneath for the first down. But you're right. I mean, we, we read this off here. It's Ed Reed. It's Troy Palomalu. It's Pat Tillman. It's a 95 Deion Sanders, a 95 grade Rod Woodson that he's got available. Lawrence Taylor, Hall of Famer Willie Lanier. He's got Lanier and Shazier. And Khalil Mack is a guy we hardly even mentioned right, when you look at this roster. Diving catch by Holt to stay alive. Decroft not giving up, though. Staying in the fight. Going to continue to play his heart out, and you know you got to respect that. Full track's defense is so good that he has Pat Tillman in the as his slot corner. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's a great way to put it. This ball aired out, and on the sidelines. Is that a good catch? Great read, great read by by Decroft right there, and great stick work on that sideline, swerving in and out Boy, to make that catch. Tyree Kill dragging the toes. Troy Hill, by the way, is one of the corners for Voltrax. You talk about, it's like that old Sesame Street, one of these things here doesn't belong. <laughs> Sanders, Woodson, Reed, Palomalu, Tillman, and Troy Hill. Yeah, we're not going to see Troy Hill get a, a whole lot of playing time with this defense that Voltrax has, unless there's a lot of no huddling going on. Well, that's a half a dozen sacks. 
Rodgers back to work into the end zone, threaded it in there, got the touchdown. Great read by Decroft right there, seeing the post coming open. He's going to have to get an onside kick really quick right here and drive down the field and get a field goal and try to give himself a chance. It's going to be very, very tough, though. Yeah, that extra field goal, right, to make it the, the 24 points, not 21, that's huge. Made it that two-possession game and nearly impossible now. But there is the onside kick. Gobbled up. O'Shaughnessy will take it. And Voltrax is going to take it. He will be able to move on and get the winner.